course, we're never going to do anything about it. That'd be ridiculous. And I just feel like it's different. It is seven on one. We got sports performance and a mindset reset coming on up. Um, today is our day one. Um, we're in f- week four of phase two. So this is going to be our last week of these workouts. And by week, I mean our last four weeks. Um, we do have um, our lateral day today. So we're doing lots of lateral movement this morning. Um, we're going to do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest for the first round. And then we're going to bump that up to 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest for the second round. And then we'll see if we can fit three rounds and we're going to try and do three. Um, and so then for that third round, we'll do 50 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. So moving on up in our times today, just to mix it up. But we're going to start off with a lateral lunge into a curtsy lunge. So starting with my left leg planted, we're stepping out to the side with the right leg and then coming back. I don't want to, do I have room here? I don't know. So we're going to step out and then behind into that curtsy lunge. So we're going to be alternating here out to the side and back. And so we're going to do all of that. And then the next time we're going to switch our legs. So we'll do 40-20 on one leg and then 40-20 on the other leg. So step, sorry, step out to side lateral lunge and that curtsy lunge. So that first side, our right leg is moving and now just our left leg is moving. So that was going to be our first two. And then we're going to do some lateral squats. We're going to take our legs nice and wide. Toes are going to point forward. We're going to bring those hips back down to one side, keeping that chest up and then to the other side and back. So then we'll do that. And then after that, we're gonna do lateral marches or skips. So whatever feels good for you today, we just wanna be moving side to side. So what we'll do is we're going to, if I'm moving towards my right side, I'm pushing off my left leg. So we're going to drive that right knee up and so we're gonna double tap land and go that way and then the other way. So driving through that side of the foot and then if we're not skipping, we're just marching to the same thing, pushing off the other leg and that way, which I will probably be doing marches because I don't have that much room and I really don't wanna run into anything today. So that's number four. And then the last one we're gonna do are lateral jumps. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start on one leg. So I would start on my left. We're gonna sink into our back hip. So what I mean by that is we're going to push those hips back as we load up. And from there, we're going to jump as far as we can to the other side, landing, sinking into that hip. So we're jumping, landing. You don't have to jump as high or as wide or anything. We're landing nice and soft. If we're not jumping today, we can just take a nice step to the other side. So from this angle, we're sinking into the hip, jumping, landing as we sink in. We really wanna drive those hips back in a little bit better than the hip knee there. So that's our whole that's our whole workout today. So like I said, we're going to start with 40, 20, um, and then we'll just work our way up with each round um, until we're done. And then of course, during our cool down, we'll start to get our mindset in the right place going into the long weekend and into this Friday. So warm up, we're going to start with the world's greatest stretch. We'll get some rotation in here. So nice, big, deep breath and release your fingers, grabbing the right knee, pulling the right knee towards the chest. Nice, big, deep breath. And on the exhale, stepping back into that reverse lunge. Back leg stays straight, hands on the inside of that front foot. Breathing into the tightness in our hips. We're warming up our hips in this one. And we're gonna take a nice, big, deep belly breath. And on the exhale, we're gonna bring our left hand towards the ceiling, gazing past our thumb. Still keeping that back leg as straight as we can. And we're gonna exhale, plant that hand on the outside of our front foot, push ourselves up into that hamstring stretch. We got glutes to the ceiling, toes pointed up, getting our face as close to the leg as we can. And we're gonna exhale, bring the right foot next to the left foot. And then we're gonna stand on up. Awesome, all right, so we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. So we're gonna interlace our fingers, grabbing onto our left knee, pulling the left knee towards the chest. Nice, big, deep belly breath. And we're gonna exhale, step back into that reverse lunge, back legs nice and straight, hands to the inside of that front leg. 
Breathing nice and deep here, feeling that opening up our hips. And we're gonna exhale and bring the right hand towards the ceiling, gazing past our thumb. And we're gonna exhale, plant that hand on the outside of our front leg. Push ourselves up into that hamstring stretch. And we're gonna exhale, bring the left foot next to the right foot. We're gonna stand on up. All right, next part of our warm up here, we're gonna just do some lateral squats to get our legs used to moving in different directions. So we're gonna take it nice and wide here. We're just gonna do three on each side. So we're gonna bring those hips down and back, keep that leg nice and straight, get a good stretch through there. And to the other side, squeezing through those glutes, pushing that whole foot off the ground, just like we're regularly squatting. And one more each side, get the hips back. And last one. Awesome. All right, last part of our warm up here, we're gonna do some frog squats, get our hips opened up even more, get our legs ready for all of our, we're not doing any arms today, it's all legs. We gotta get our legs nice and ready. So frog squats here, we're gonna bring those elbows inside of our knees here, keep that back nice and flat. And we're gonna bring our hips down as far as we can. And then we're gonna bring them halfway up. So we can stay in that bottom of the squat as long as we'd like, or we can kind of just move back and forth pretty quickly. This is gonna get our hips nice and warmed up. Two more. And last one. We can go ahead and stand all the way up. And we are ready to rock and roll. So we're starting off with our lateral lunge into the curtsy lunge. We're gonna move one leg at a time. So you can start with whatever leg you'd like. I'm gonna move my right leg first. 40 seconds, going in three, two, one, and go. So my left leg is gonna stay planted, stepping out into that lateral lunge and then pushing off into the curtsy lunge. So with the curtsy lunge, headlights on the hips, wind the camera. So we're stepping out, hips moving back, pushing off that whole foot into our curtsy lunge. Also making sure that our chest is staying over the arch of our front foot. We're pushing off our front leg. We're not pushing off the back. Keep breathing. Doing great. Push off, keep the heels on the ground here. Try and make it one fluid motion. Three, two, one. All right. So now we're gonna do that same thing on the other leg. So now the left leg will be moving out and back. I'm gonna go this way so we can see a different angle. So we really wanna make sure in that lateral squat where we are the lateral lunge, we're getting our hips back. Three, two, one. So left leg out to the side, so chest up, butt back, pushing off into that curtsy lunge, chest over the arch of the front foot, knees tracking right over that second toe. Hips are facing forward. So if we step back, we feel our hips open up. So from this angle, if we step back, our hips are pointing diagonally, turn those hips forward and then go into that curtsy lunge. So keeping those hips forward, use that core. So keep our core nice and tight. We wanna brace ourselves like someone's about to punch us in the stomach. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, next up we have the lateral squat. So legs nice and wide, bringing our legs, our legs, bringing our weight side to side. So we're not doing a lateral lunge where we have to push off back to center. We're just staying wide. Three, two, one. So hips going back, pushing off that whole foot. So heel, big toe, little toe. And that's gonna really get us to use our glutes here really focusing, making sure we're moving with intent. I say this every class, but really making sure we're using our proper muscles for the movements that we're achieving today. So this one, we're gonna feel it in our glutes. We're also gonna feel it in the quads as well. So keeping heel big toe, little toe, chest is open. So pulling those shoulder blades down and back. Three, two, one, all right. Now we have our lateral skips or marches, whatever you wanna do this morning is good with me. 
I, like I said, I'm going to be marching, but whatever direction we're moving in, we're pushing off the opposite leg. Three, two, one. So I'm going to move to the right. So I'm pushing off my left foot. And then when we move back the other way, pushing off the right foot. So driving the mo movement on the opposite foot, pushing off the outside of the foot here, really being explosive. So then if you're skipping, same thing, you're gonna double tap as we push off. And then other way. And then making sure those knees are 90 degrees, we're pulling through the core, we're not using our hip flexors. So it will help if we exhale as we bring that knee up. Three, two, one. All right. Now, last part, we have our lateral jumps, or you can just step and over. But remember, we are sinking into our glutes. So we don't want to land really high up here. We want to land soft, gather ourselves, and then push off. Three, two, one. So I'll show from this angle. So we're gathering, jumping, landing, gathering. Same thing. So sometimes using our arms to help us here will help. We want to make sure we're fully balanced. Other leg is off the ground. We're not putting that leg on the ground. We're jumping, landing, gathering, stabilizing before we move to the next leg. Landing with that whole foot on the ground. We're doing great. We don't need to be fast here. We want to be Stable, three, two, one. Okay, that was round one. Round two, coming up, we're gonna work a little longer. So we're gonna have 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, and we'll go through again. And then we'll see how much time we have for round three. Three, two, one. So we got the lateral lunge into our curtsy lunge. So try and make it one fluid motion, so stepping out the side, pushing off, bringing that same leg back for our curtsy lunges. If you're having trouble not pushing off that back leg, it's helpful to stand all the way up with that back leg kind of just hanging out there. So sometimes we need to do that a few times to really train ourselves to just use that front leg. We have our heel big to little toe, like a tripod. Knees right over the second toe, keeping our balance. Three, two, one. Okay, so now we got 15 seconds. We're gonna repeat that on the other leg. All right, we are getting ready. Three, two, one. So left leg now up to the side and then Diagonally back. Remember those hips facing forward. We got our headlights. So we're not opening up headlights, blinding the camera or the wall, whatever direction you are facing. Same thing goes here. If you need to bring that back leg up to make sure you're using that front leg and not the back leg. Our back leg is there for stability, but we're not pushing off our back leg. We can a little bit. So like right here, we can push off a little bit. But all of our weight is in our front leg. So keeping that chest over the arch of our front foot is going to help us do that. Three, two, one. Great job. I felt like I was about to like do a chair lean chair there. I was like, ready? Okay. Woo. Okay. Next up, we have our lateral squats. So legs nice and wide. Three, two, one. So one leg at a time bringing our hips over that leg, keeping that whole foot on the ground, pushing the ground away from us, just like a normal squat. But now we're doing one leg at a time instead of both legs. So that's the thing with like lunges, whether it's a forward lunge or a reverse lunge, a lateral lunge, a lateral squat, a curtsy lunge, it's all the same mechanics. So we want the knees pack, tracking past the second toe, hips going back, chest is up, core is tight. It is all the same movement, just a variation of each other. Three, two, one. Okay, I don't know why I keep bringing my feet together today. All right, next up, 
we've got lateral skips or marches, whatever you feel like doing today. Three, two, one. So this way we can really work on what we want to work on here. So if skipping's not your thing this morning, or if you're like me and you have downstairs neighbors who don't want to jump that early in the morning, or you know, you want to focus on the core, whatever you want to focus on today, choose the movement for yourself. Both are going to be really good to work on that lateral movement, especially pushing off a lot of the times, like when we have to move side to side and we're not used to it, that's where knee injuries can come into play. It's going to help us prevent that. Three, two, one. All right, last thing we got our jumps here. So sinking into our back hips, jumping over, sinking back again. Three, two, one. So gathering ourselves, it does kind of help if you do that hand. You gather, jump, gather. So landing nice and soft, keeping those hips forward. It's kind of like a curtsy lunge when you really think about it. But if, as you, if you, even if you notice, knee right over that second toe, hips are back. So it's very similar to a squat form when we really think about it. Trying to keep our balance, we want to stabilize, work on our core, keep our eyes at one place. It's gonna help. Just really focus on landing softly here on that whole foot. Three, two, one. All right. We got time for one last round. So we're gonna do a little bit longer of a work set this time. So we got 50 seconds of work. Three, two, one. So picking one leg, so right leg out into that lateral lunge, back into our curtsy lunge, making sure we're not push using that back leg. Keep breathing. This is our last round and the longest round. So doing it backwards like that, meaning going up in time helps build some endurance, which is great for sports performance, really making sure where we have the ability to push even when we're tired. So I know we used to work out before softball practice. So that way, when it was the 14th inning, meaning three, two, one. All right, so we're gonna switch over, do that same thing on the other side, meaning the seventh inning of a double header, we could still perform three, two, one, other leg. So that way at the end of our second game, because we always play double headers, we would be able to play at our best because we're used to playing when we're tired. So that's one reason why I do like to do increasing time intervals if, if I am increasing our intervals. Don't always do that. But usually I will do smallest to largest for that reason. Which is also why I do always recommend doing the strength part of your workout first and cardio second. Partially because you might wear yourself out doing cardio and not be able to train as well. Three, two, one. Okay, done with those for today. Next up, we have our lateral squats. Three, two, one. Nice wide stance, hips driving back, trying to keep that chest up as much as we can, going down as far as feels comfortable. You know, it's going to be different for everyone. My hips feeling really tight today, probably from all of the squats we did during both total body strength and exercise and exos yesterday. Lots of squats, lots of legs today too. It's great. Just in time for the real summer to come around, even though it's super cold outside right now, which is very, I feel like it's not common for this time of year. Three, two, one. 
Okay, we have lateral marches or skips. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Pushing off, getting those knees up, keeping our core tight. We wanna make sure that as we drive the knee up, we're not bending that chest forward. So chest stays where it is, our knees are moving on their own. Keep that breathing going. We're doing great. We only got the lateral jumps next, and then we'll go ahead and cool down and get into our mindset reset for the day. Getting ready. We got a long weekend this weekend is great hopefully we all have nice relaxing plans for the weekend three two one okay last thing lateral jumps or step overs whatever you're doing three two one doesn't really matter exactly what we're doing as long as we're moving side to side and working on gathering ourselves so even if we step See, sometimes it's harder when it's slower. So we're stepping, gathering, stepping, gathering. Then as we get good, we can go into the air a little bit. One leg to the other. This is more of a, a bound because of one leg onto the other. Again, great for strengthening all of our muscles that move us side to side, which Again, a lot of knee injuries like ACL tears happen from a lack of strength from lateral movement. So that's why we do this one today. Three, two, one. And we are done with our circuit for today. Nice job, y'all. Go ahead, grab a sip of water if you need it. And we're gonna make our way onto the ground for our cool down and our mindset reset. So my favorite stretch to do, we're gonna do our quadruped rocking with our leg out to the side with the rotation. So I'm gonna be on my hands and knees. My right leg is gonna be out to the side. My right arm is gonna reach through in between my left arm, my left leg. So right leg out, keep that pinky toe on the ground. Turn this way so you see my legs. And we're gonna rock back inhaling. And then we're gonna exhale, reach through, and then plant and back to center. And this is where we're gonna start to get our breathing down. And by controlling the breath, we're gonna go ahead and do one more. And by controlling our breath, we're gonna be able to control a lot of different things in our bodies, like our heart rates how our body feels, how our mind feels. And we're gonna go ahead after that last one. Sorry, I forgot to say make that last next one, your last one. We're gonna switch over to the other side. So left leg out to the side, left leg is gonna go through. So we're inhaling as we bring the glutes to the heels, exhaling as we reach through. And then we're turning to center. Today in our, our mindset reset, I want us to focus on our mind-body connection. And with that, we are starting to bring awareness to how our body feels during these this stretch right here. So we're inhaling, coming back. And maybe this is our last one too. So maybe we're noticing that our hips are really tight today, or maybe we're not rotating as well. All right, after that next one, I'm switching it up on y'all today. I know we normally do child's pose because for me personally, that's like, I think the best way to kind of just relax our body and the more about our, the more we relax our body, the more we relax our mind. But today we're going to do some pretzel because we need to get some rotation in here. So we're going to lay on our side. I'm going to start on my left side. You can grab a pillow for your head if you need it. We're going to take our top leg up over and across keep that bottom hand on that knee. And then our back leg is nice and straight. We're gonna grab onto it with our top arm. And here we're gonna inhale to prepare. And then we're gonna exhale, open up towards the ground. I don't know if anyone heard that, but my spine just cracked really loud. 
<laughs> and that's okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're focusing on the tight areas of our body in this position. And while we do that, we're gonna imagine them releasing with each exhale. So focus on one tight spot at a time. Do one deep breath there. So nice big inhale through the nose. Sigh away the tension, breathe into the tightness. And relax those much muscles with each exhale. So we're focusing on longer exhales, calming our body down, calming our minds down. We're really just focusing here on our bodies. Breathing into those tight areas and relaxing with each exhale. It's a great thing to practice during the day. Just getting their breath rate down will help us calm our minds. And we're going to do one more big deep breath here. So, nice big inhale in through the nose. And as we exhale, we can gently release from that position. Take your time here. We're gonna roll over to the other side. So I started on my left side. I'm now gonna move to my right side. And we're gonna go ahead and bring that top leg up over and across. I already heard my spine crack. Bottom hand on top of that knee. Back leg nice and straight, grabbing on with our hand to our foot or ankle. Nice big inhale to prepare. And then we're gonna exhale, bringing that shoulder towards the ground. And this is where we can also bring more awareness. Maybe this side is easier to get into. Maybe we don't have any, as many tight spots on this side, or maybe it's the opposite and this side feels way worse than the first side. So we're gonna do the same thing here. So we're taking big deep inhales and then we're sighing away, imagining our tight muscles relaxing further with each exhale. You don't wanna be clenching any muscles in the body. So we're fully relaxing here. Imagine your body becoming looser and looser with each exhale. The longer we make our exhales, the more our body is gonna calm down. And let's go ahead and do one more deep inhale here. And on or after the exhale, we can gently come out of that. And you're more than welcome to stay on the ground. You can go to seated kneeling standing, however you would like to end this class. So that is gonna be all the time I have for you all this morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love getting a good workout in with you all in the mornings. Great way to start off the day going into the weekend with that mindset reset. So we do have one more class today. We got functional fitness Friday with Luis at 12. Um, and then that is it for our live classes. We got all that starting up again next week with our normal schedule, but no Monday classes because it's Labor Day. So we don't have any classes on Monday. Don't forget that. And then we'll start right up again on Tuesday. Um, we do also have our 9-11 stair climb coming up next weekend. So we are raising money for the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. So please help us help the families that were affected uh, by 9-11 20 years ago next Saturday, which is a lot of feelings in itself. So please help us do that. Um, you can head over to SharePoint and find the link to donate. If the link isn't popping up, just refresh the SharePoint site and it will pop up eventually, or you can reach out to any one of us. So thank you all for joining me this morning. Great job. And I'll see you next week and enjoy your long week.